Hi, and welcome back. As part of our thematic organization, we are going to organize all of our beauty products today. These are all of our self-care products from hairspray to our facial cream, everything that we use to enhance the way we look and feel. Now, we have already gathered a lot of our products for our beauty kits. Our mani pedi, our facial, our hair conditioning kit, we all keep in this dedicated space so that we can engage in our daily health and beauty routines. However, we also have a plethora of other products. Now, all of our beauty products, they all cost a lot of money. And we've invested a considerable amount. So we want to capitalize on that investment. But we also want to make sure that the products that we're using are still good and safe. That means that they haven't outlived their shelf life. And we also want to make sure that everything we have is sanitary and that we're reducing the amount of clutter. Now, these are all the products that I have. And I don't know if you can see, but I have my makeup in these two little trays. This I have learned that too much clutter in my bathroom makes my bathroom seem overwhelming. I tend to avoid using the products that I've invested money in because I can't find them or it takes too long to search for them or it's just too visually overwhelming so I avoid. And we don't want to avoid because if we avoid then we are losing out on that investment that we've made. Now, so what I suggest is go ahead and using the products that you have and then buy what you need. And if you want to try new products, use coupons. The manufacturers usually put out a coupon when they introduce a new product to encourage people to buy it. That's when I'm going to try new products. And if it works for me, then I'm going to repurchase. However, it gives me the opportunity to try a new product without spending as much money. And I feel better about the investment that I'm making. Now, we have usually a plethora of products. And if you'll notice, these are half empty. This one's half empty too. I have three lotions that are half empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on using my half empties first before I use my brand new lotions. Because this is just too much clutter for me. If, just imagine if you had 10 half empties, how much clutter that would be. So we're going to focus on using the half empties first. Just like when we purged our pantries, we utilized what we have. We're going to utilize what we have on hand first, and we're going to use the half empties. That way, when these are empty, I'm going to recycle these containers, and then I'm even further reduced in the amount of clutter that I have to deal with. Now, I don't have storage in my bathroom, so everything that I have that I keep in my bathroom has to fit into a very small space that is visible because I have no cabinet, I have a pedestal sink, and I have glass shelves. That's it. So I can't have a ton of products out. It makes my bathroom look totally cluttered. So I've learned to refine what I use and how I store it. Another thing is you want to check your products. Um, Everything has a shelf life. We have a shelf life. Products have a shelf life. If they contain any kind of oils, those oils can go rancid. So what you want to do is you want to check your products. And it's just a simple smell test. You can smell if it's rancid oil. It does not have a pleasant odor. So check your products and just make sure that they're still good, particularly if they have any kind of oils in them. If they still smell nice, they're probably still usable. If they're rancid, you need to dispose of those. You don't want those products on your skin or in your hair or on your body anywhere. Now, let's talk about makeup. We have invested a lot of money in makeup, even simple makeup. Just a, a, a thing of eyeshadow can run up to $15. And we tend to have a lot of it. So, you know, there's a lot of impulse buying as we go into the um, makeup aisle. We look at all these wonderful products and we know they're going to make us feel beautiful. So we purchase them. The problem is we can get overwhelmed with product. We want to keep our product selection manageable. Now, I would advise getting these little makeup containers. They keep your makeup 
nice and manageable. I actually bought these that would fit into a drawer, so I keep mine in a drawer. I just open it up at my vanity, and then I can put on my makeup, but I don't have to look at all this stuff all the time. Now, you can purchase these little kits at any kind of um, discount store like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to organize and clean. If your makeup, your powdered makeup has kind of crumbled, you can take some rubbing alcohol, add a few drops to it, use a latex glove on your finger and just kind of pat it back into place and then you'll still be able to use it. But the other thing that we want to do is we want to clean our makeup so that it's nice and sterile. Um, you know, we have that makeup residue. Yeah, this is my Listerine spray, y'all. You know it. You know, when you use your foundation and it's still on your hands and you, you go to put your foundation away, then you've got that foundation stuff all over. So what you want to do is you just want to clean it with your Listerine spray on a washcloth so that you don't have that makeup residue that could transfer to your clothing or you know, your purse or, you know, wherever. And so just go through your makeup and kind of clean up all the containers. Psychologically, it's refreshing because everything looks clean. And you know, we like things when they look clean and new. Psychologically, we tend to engage more. So you can also clean your makeup um, kits, your little eyeshadow things containers, you can just wipe them down, wipe them around, make sure they're nice and clean. And this helps to sterilize too. That Listerine spray is going to kill the germs. So now not only are they, do they look better, they also are healthier for us. So we're going to go through, sharpen all your little lip pencils and eye pencils, and just spend a little time today getting your makeup cleaned up so that it encourages you to use them if you use makeup, but also it's going to be psychologically more engaging to us. Now, for your mascara, we all know that we need to use our mascara within a certain amount of time, so you want to go ahead and check your mascara, make sure it's not all dried up, and then make sure you don't overbuy mascara because you need to use it relatively quickly. Also, your eyeliner, you check that, make sure that that's still good. All of your lipsticks and everything, you want to clean all of that up today. You also want to clean your makeup brushes and your makeup sponges. So this is just some, you can see how dirty mine were. Um, this is just some mild soap in warm water and I'm just soaking my brushes and I'm going to rinse them and I'm going to dry them on this towel. You also want to make your makeup brushes frequently. At the end of the month is my fiscal fast and that's when I really focus on staying home and cleaning my house and taking care of all my filing and my paperwork, getting my bills ready to pay, writing out my greeting cards. That's the week I don't spend a lot of money, so I'm not out having lunch or shopping. I'm focused on getting things done at home and kind of just catching up. That's when I clean my makeup brushes, once a month at the end of month during my fiscal fast. You also want to clean your hair brushes and you can wash those in hot soapy water as well. You can also spray them down with your Listerine spray to kill any kind of germs or bacteria. I think we've covered almost everything today, so let's just recap. Go through your products. As you find products that might go into your facial, mani-pedi, hair conditioning, or dental kit, you might want to add them to your kit. But then you want to go through the rest of your products and you just want to check to make sure that they're still good. You want to start looking at the half empties and focus on using those first. So maybe put some of your brand new products aside for a little while, use those half empties and then get out those new products. Assess the products that you have and whether they work for you. And if they do, they're certainly worthy of being repurchased. But if they don't work for you, don't invest the money again. Capitalize on the investment that we've already made and Let's be smart about how we buy new cosmetics. Don't buy things you know you're not going to use on impulse. Use coupons to try new products because you can save some money. And also you want to make sure that your products are clean and sterile and healthy. So I'm going to sign off for now. Enjoy your day and I will see you next time.